Hi, this is PD at Bergzerk Arcade at bergzerkarcade.com. In this tutorial 243, we're still in the changing room and it's part J. So let's go ahead and open up Unity. Uh, last time we finished off, we put our little cubes in here or whatever uh, 3D object you want in there to uh, actually rotate your character. And the next thing I want to do is actually add um, some hair color. So some textures that we can use to be applied to our hair so we can change the colors. And to do that, uh, we'll go back into our resources folder and I threw a bunch of textures in here that came uh, default with uh, the Pro Games character set I have and all we really have to do is change the name of them so if we actually go ahead and open up the hair script uh, hair.cs uh, we'll go back into it if you scroll down to the bottom uh, here's all the hairs that you have uh, I've got on ahead and had one two three four five six so I have actually I actually have six hairs here, and I showed how to take um, one of the hair textures and change its color or at least the tint uh, to create other hair colors if you want. And one of the things I hinted at before is that you could probably just actually have one uh, one actual texture for the hair down here and just apply different um, tints to it to create all these other ones. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to go ahead and stick with the actual multiple textures for hair. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I do have six, and I do have six um, that I have listed here. So I'm going to go ahead and just rename all of them. And you want, you have to make sure that the name's the exact same as what you have in your enumeration. So black, blonde. So let's go ahead and change these. We have a brown. I do have a red. Uh, gray and I need a light brown I think was the last one yes light brown so I'm just gonna call this one light and underscore brown I believe that's how I spelt it just to make sure all right so we'll save that off and if we'll start it back up we'll notice where we have our hair changing uh, we have some some things not working right so let's go back in and we'll take a look here uh, this is supposed to actually be brown and I'm gonna go ahead and change these a bit uh, let me see no I'm not I'm just actually gonna keep this same I'm gonna shrink this down just so we can see them now I know my light brown and my brown are the exact same one and you know I could load this up in Photoshop or any any uh, paint program and change the color but uh, let's start off with that we'll just take a look here uh, we're missing one one two three four five and we're missing the blonde and it's because I actually spelt it wrong so let's we'll save that off we'll start it back up and there we go I have my little hair textures being displayed and apparently the red one seems to be a little bit smaller than the rest so I'm not sure what's going on there uh, let's go ahead and take a look uh, we don't actually need that need it to be that size uh, it's 256 by 256 we'll probably shrink it down not hundred percent sure why it's displaying a little bit differently there I'll have to take a look uh, in my other projects I know in the other project they're all the same size uh, but anyway let's actually pick a hairstyle that has some hair uh, rotate our character a bit and now when you start clicking on these buttons it'll change the hair color and that's pretty much it for this tutorial uh, we'll change the uh, body type and you can tell this hair still needs to be sized up a bit as you can still see a bit of the skull poking through but anyway uh, we now have the ability to change the color of our, of our hair and I'll see you in the next tutorial bye bye